What up gamers, I'm Sir Mev and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal series for Battlefield 5. This time around we have a new medic SMG that we could unlock within the last week of chapter 4 and I'm happy to say you'll be wanting to add this to your collection of medic guns. There's really no need to give you any tips on unlocking this new gun as this week's challenges are really easy. A couple nodes will have you play the new game mode Outpost which I'll review here at the end of the video but for the most part you can play any class as you normally would and you'll unlock this new SMG for the medic class. So before I jump into the usual analyzation of this weapon let's first get into a bit of history on this unique SMG. The Mob 38 is actually formally known as the Beretta M38. If you're a gun fanatic of any kind you'll know that Beretta is an Italian based gun company that makes some of the best shotguns used for competition in this present day. But back in World War II they created a one of a kind submachine gun for the Italian army. It was like so much that it even saw use by the German infantry back in the war. The version of the Mob 38 we actually see in game is not the original version though, it's actually the Beretta M38A version. The original SMG did not come with a barrel shroud as you see in the picture. If you don't know what a barrel shroud is, it's the outer casing you see on the barrel with the holes on it. The M38A version didn't come out till almost the end of the war but there was still quite a few of them manufactured. The Mob 38 was actually considered one of the most reliable SMGs for the Axis powers during World War II and as I stated before it's a very unique gun. If you look closely you'll notice that there are two triggers for this weapon. Instead of a switch mechanism for changing between fire modes Beretta decided to use two triggers instead. The back trigger allows the user to fire the Mob 38 at full auto while the front trigger was the semi-auto fire. This is also the same within the game but you shouldn't find yourself having to switch between different fire modes that often as the new SMG is a laser beam even at full auto. So with the history out of the way let's get into the specs. The Mob 38 is mediocre when it comes to its fire rate and reload speed when compared to the other SMGs but its accuracy and slight difference in damage make up for these drop offs. At stock this new SMG fires at 600 rounds per minute, holds 20 rounds in the magazine with a max of 100 bullets that you can carry and has the slowest reload speed of the medic class at 3.3 seconds. You can improve the reload speed to 2.81 seconds with the reload speed specialization and extend the magazine to a max of 30 bullets. Which is definitely helpful when you come upon those flanking situations where 20 bullets in the mag just isn't enough. Now as I stated before this SMG is not the best when it comes to rate of fire but its accuracy and damage output make up for it. Besides the semi-auto rifles that were added to the medic class this is the first time we've seen an SMG in the medic class that does more damage than the others. It's not much but the Mob 38 does anywhere from 1 to 2 more damage points when compared to the other SMGs. Where you'll really notice the difference though is within that accuracy. This gun even on console is a laser beam with very manageable recoil. This also allows for multiple routes when deciding on the specializations that fit your playstyle. Now as most of you will know I tend to always recommend using the specializations that maximize the DPS of your weapon. With this gun I would suggest more on what fits your playstyle. If you like to get up close and personal you can go all the way down the entire left hand column. Not only does this provide you with both DPS enhancements but you gain insane hit fire accuracy as well. You could go full left side if you feel you want more ADS capabilities but you miss out on decreasing your reload speed and gaining the extra 10 bullets. Also the velocity of the Mob 38's bullets are quite fast even at a distance so you really won't be needing that node either. What I would recommend is going full left on the first three nodes and then shift over to the right column on the last node to acquire custom stock. With this specialization route you maximize your DPS while also increasing the accuracy of your hit fire. Plus if you ever do have to aim down sights you will be more accurate while moving. And let's be honest here if you're standing still you become an easy target for any sniper within the area. But even without any specializations with this gun it's still quite accurate for both hip fire and aiming down sight. But to get the most out of this weapon I believe this is the best path to take for all playstyles. Also keep in mind this is still an SMG so you'll still want to be up close to your enemy. This just gives you some options when you're looking to take down enemies say 20 meters out. But when compared to the rest of the medic weapons in the medic class the Mob 38 still sits in the middle bracket but like I said with the very manageable accuracy of this new SMG it puts it at one of the top weapons within this class. And that my friends is all you need to know about the Mob 38 for the medic class. Now as I stated before you will need to play the new game mode Outpost to unlock this new SMG or you can wait a couple weeks and get it for like a thousand coins. So what is this new mode anyway? Well basically what Outpost is it's similar to Conquest in that you have balanced objective points across the map. Currently this is a limited time mode and it's only available on the Adas and Mercury maps. 
The difference between conquests is that instead of an objective point, your team fights over radio towers that can be built, upgraded three times, and be destroyed by the enemy team. As you maintain control of these points, your team earns recruits. First team to reach 100 recruits wins the match. So your team will definitely want to upgrade your capture points all the way as this will earn you more recruits. And support players are definitely helpful within this mode as there are plenty of fortifications to be built around each objective point and they upgrade the towers at a faster pace. Now in order to bring down enemy towers, an element of rush is introduced within this mode. You or one of your team members will have to plant a bomb onto the enemy tower in order to neutralize the point and allow your team to take it over. The bomb takes about 5 seconds to plant and defuse and once you plant the bomb you'll have to defend the point for 30 seconds until the bomb goes off. Definitely makes for some chaotic gameplay especially as you get further into the match. Speaking of further in the match, as the match goes on each team will acquire additional tanks and planes to use out on the battlefield so lots of explosions and destruction tend to take place at endgame. So it does make for a fun mode if you like a little chaos with your conquest. Me personally though, I still prefer conquest, but it's nice to see DICE try new things to gain community feedback. During my initial gameplay though within Outpost, lots of teams would tend to run in circles to each objective similar to what Domination was in the beginning. As the week progresses, I'm sure players will develop different strategies and more of a sense of defending the objectives instead of always attacking. So go check it out if you haven't jumped in. Like I said, it's a limited time mode, so it might just last till the end of this week, which is the end of chapter 4, or it could go on for a bit longer. But if you have jumped into the new mode, let me know your thoughts. Is Outpost something you would like to see permanently within the game? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, remember I do these reviews for you guys so you have a better understanding of how each weapon works in Battlefield 5 and how you can get the most out of it. So if there's ever anything you want me to test or anything additional you would like me to include in these videos, let me know down in the comments below. But as always, thank you for the support. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and tap fire subscribe for more gaming content. But until next time gamers, this is Sir Mav, signing off.